All right, so today I'm gonna try to show you the different blades and what they're being used for or what their specialty is, because everyone has their pros and cons here, but I ordered four of the Carbide Tips Renegade blades. This is the 20 tooth, which is supposedly designed for brush and brambles only. Let's see here. This is the 30, 32 or 36 tooth. I think it's 32, this is 56 tooth and then this is 80 so the higher you go in theory the more uh, trees or, or large limbs um, as you go up from brush to, to large limbs so some of these are kind of hybrids in the middle where they do a little bit of both but maybe not great at any anything so we'll, we'll test them out and see I know when I was looking I couldn't really find that information but um, you know for some of the stuff that overhanging we've got a saw here but I'm not going to do too much about that today but uh, when I did order these these came for free and I think they messed up with the blades here rather than going down they put them up so they sent them for free and we'll try those out at some point I think that's more for for grass and for brush but um, at any rate you know I'll show you some some footage of these and and how they work and give you my analysis so, Hopefully it'll help you all when you're looking. So with that, uh, we'll get started here. I always do recommend wearing some steel-toed boots, particularly if you don't have the bicycle handles on these. Uh, and eyewear, protective wear, all that. So uh, you know, with that said, we'll get started. Two tooth blade was ripping through these. Smooth cut. By about an inch and a half. That's quite easy for it. This is the 80 tooth. And along this fence, fence row, we've got some black locust saplings. And so we're going to try this out and see how it does.
these were the cuts with the blue blade. They're a little bit bigger than my thumb. But that's about as big as you want to get with it. up cutting along the road here and you can see here we sprayed this but that is about three or four inch diameter probably three inch diameter tree there cuts through the soft woods about that size like butter and here's some limbs here but that red uh, 56 blade That uh, it does a number. It uh, it is a nice blade. It really is best for things about this size, about finger finger size. But um, it's all altogether a good blade, and it made quick work of everything on the road here. So here's a summary of my experiences with all of these blades. For the Polycut, those are great for homeowners. They're, they do a good job of cutting and throwing grass. It's not going to nick up trees and concrete and whatever, whatever else you, you may be worried about hitting. You just replace the blades when you're done. They don't last as long, but again, it's, it's meant for homeowners. Now the Blue Hybrid Blade, this is the thickest blade of the bunch and it gets progressively thinner as you go up in the number of teeth but that thicker blade it allows it to throw grass and to catch vines and brush a little bit better than some of the other stuff now that thicker blade means it's not quite as good with saplings and trees so moving up to the 32 teeth and the razor hybrid both of those are great all-around blades and they do a good job whether you want to cut grass or saplings. If you're just dedicated to cutting woody plants, then you might want to step up to the 80 tooth blade. And uh, something to, to note is if you do hit something like a steel post or concrete or whatever, these carbide tip blades have a tendency to chip. So having that higher blade count, you can use them longer. I will note that you cannot resharpen these blades like you can with a steel brush knife. So it's something to keep in mind. If you are using these just for grass, I would tend to go with the brush knife because it can be resharpened. You don't have to get another blade. These are all just based on my experiences. I hope this video uh, explains it well and shows you the pros and cons of all these different blades. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear them below, or if there's some other ideas you have as far as testing these out that you want me to do, I'd love to hear what you have to say. And thanks a lot guys for watching. 
and I hope you stay tuned and watch some of my other videos, and I appreciate it.